Hello Neanderthals, what's new? This is Ayub and today we'll understand proxy servers. <laughs> proxy servers has been around for decades and because of their various use cases and features and the different types of proxies out there, they are a source of confusion for many. So allow me to clear that confusion once and for all. A proxy server is very much like a personal assistant for a rich VIP. It is something that takes care of tasks that you normally do, but in the web context, a proxy server is a machine that sits between the user and the rest of the internet and handles some kinds of tasks for users as well as provides some other benefits. It acts as a bridge between users and the internet by having the user connect to it and then the proxy will connect to the rest of the internet. Wait a minute, why can't a user connect directly to the internet? I mean, I connect directly to the internet. And what kind of tasks are you talking about? First of all, because the rest of the internet will be interacting with a different IP address, which is the proxy's public address, you will have the privacy and anonymity benefit, right? So that's reason one. Also, if you're obsessed with a website and you're using a proxy, you can access that website faster thanks to its caching features. And we talked about that in the caching video. You can also have security benefits because the proxy server will be in the face of threats instead of you acting as a firewall to protect you. Limited resources are another reason why we need proxies. Because sometimes we have limited bandwidth and capabilities in our local computers, it would be a good idea to hire a proxy to do some tasks for you and only deliver to you the result. So these are a couple of reasons to show you why you would need a proxy server. Of course, there are more than you'll get to know because the number of whys correspond to the number of tasks proxy can do for you, right? And speaking of which, a proxy server can do different things for users on the internet. As your middleman on the web, a proxy have a couple of useful roles. First, a security role acting as a firewall, meaning that it acts as a shielding wall between you and the wild internet. With the proxy configured as a firewall, it can be used to block unwanted access to your private network from the outside. It can be used to block access to specific content. You can always block or intercept traffic flowing from the internet through your network and vice versa. And that's why companies, schools, and parents set up proxies in front of their private networks to monitor and control the usage of the internet. Also, related to security, protecting private and important data is one of the main roles of proxies. Using a proxy adds an extra layer to the equation which gives attackers a difficult time accessing your stored data. Also, it gives you anonymity. With proxies connecting to the rest of the internet on your behalf and using an IP address that is not yours, you can always bypass the geolocation restrictions of some websites and other types of restrictions by using the identity of the proxy instead of your identity. Also, proxies are a great way to provide caching features as well. By storing frequently accessed data on the proxy, faster retrieval of data is guaranteed. And speaking of faster retrieval, proxies can also be used to save bandwidth. And that is due to the limited resources we have sometimes, most of the heavy work and requests will be taken care of by the proxy server and you will get to enjoy only the result. Another thing you can do with proxies is to log users' activities. Yeah, that's good for preventing cyber loafing and stuff, you know. And last but not least, in the case of reverse proxies, load balancing is one of the main tasks of the server, balancing out and distributing requests among backend servers. All right, I guess you got the idea. Proxies can do all sorts of fancy stuff for you, and this is why tech-savvy people always use proxies. That was the worst British accent I have ever done. <laughs> anyway, I think it's very good to use a proxy if you can afford it. Check my description for one of the best proxy providers. You can get a discount if you use the service through the link in the description. Now, I think there are a couple of questions that you might be asking now, or they might pop up in your head later. What's the difference between a proxy and a reverse proxy? What's the difference between a proxy and a load balancer? Is it any different if I use a VPN instead of proxy? Okay. Put simply, a reverse proxy is just a proxy that provides the same services as a regular one, which is called a forward proxy. The only difference is that it does that in the opposite direction. We've seen that forward proxies handle requests and traffic for private networks and users on the internet, aka clients. A reverse proxy, on the other hand, stands in front of the server side, handling clients for servers and protecting the backend from malicious clients. Okay, they do load balancing, they prevent DOS attacks, as well as other things. Most of the time, reverse proxies are more powerful because they have extra features like compressing requests, advanced security, etc. So 
Put simply, forward proxies serve and protect the client and reverse proxies serve and protect servers. Great. And what about load balancing? Now, we know that load balancers filter and distribute incoming requests among a group of servers and then take the response and forward it to the right client, right? And this sounds pretty much like a proxy because proxies do a lot of forwarding. Yeah, that's true, but they are not the same actually. A load balancer is a specialized server that takes care of incoming requests and forwards them to the right server. That's pretty much what it does. There might be some other features included, but they are all related to the load balancing task. A reverse proxy, on the other hand, can do more than that. Load balancing is just one of its features. It's like bonus included in a rich package. Okay, about the last question. What's the difference between a proxy and a VPN? That's a good question. Just like how load balancers are specialized in load balancing, VPNs are specialized in encryption and security, right? And they are used a lot for privacy. One of the remarkable differences between the two is that proxies and VPNs use different network protocols, with the VPN protocols being more secure and robust. That makes them a good candidate for privacy-obsessed people. However, if security is not a big concern, opting for a proxy might be good because they are often cheaper and faster. Great! I hope now it's all clear which is what. And after what we've seen, you might have a basic idea how proxies work, but just for the sake of clarity, let me put it another way. A proxy works as a gateway between you and the internet. After you set up your computer or private network with the proxy, from then on, every request you send to the internet passes through the proxy. The same goes for every response. When a request or response flows through the proxy, data might get modified for the sake of one of the purposes we talked about earlier. For example, the proxy might assign a different IP address to the request. It might change some metadata in your web requests, might encrypt your messages, etc. And then, when the modifications are done, the proxy forwards the message to the destination. Isn't that sweet? Okay, another thing. I mentioned in the intro that there are different types of proxies. Well, you already know two types, right? The most common type of proxies that hide clients are traditionally called forward proxies. And of course, you know about the reverse proxy, right? Other types of server proxies include transparent proxies. And these type of proxies don't provide any anonymity whatsoever. They are used just for caching purposes and other similar services. Another type of proxies are called distorting proxies and they generate incorrect IP addresses for their clients if the client is detected to be using a proxy. That sounds cool. DNS proxies, that's another type, and they forward client requests to domain servers for caching purposes, etc. And there are a couple more types of proxies that might be specialized in different things. Great, so that's a lot of information in a very short amount of time. We are almost done, and before I wrap up, I want to mention some important considerations that you should keep in mind when dealing with proxies. First, because proxies are a bridge between you and the internet, all your traffic and data pass through it. And due to the features it provides, all your activities will be visible to the service provider. That's not a bad thing, per se. You just have to do your research and opt for the most suitable proxy service provider out there. And never, ever choose free ones. Because everyone knows by now, there is nothing absolutely free. All right. The second thing I want to tell you is that some proxies out there save users browsing history and personal data unencrypted. So it's quite important to do your research and find the most trusted proxy providers out there. Also, when it comes to security, examining the security features of the proxy provider is essential to see if the proxy alone is enough for you or not. You might want to couple it with email security software and a secure web gateway, for example. And one last thing I want to talk about is if security is the main concern, choosing a VPN instead of a proxy server is the right decision. Because as we said, VPNs are specialized in security and encrypt all traffic. If you need high security and services provided by proxies, you can couple a VPN with a proxy. You can first connect to the proxy using a VPN and then use the proxy for the extra feeders. Wow, it's a very good feeling when you understand something really well. And I really hope that's what you're feeling right now. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned what proxies are. Don't forget to leave me a comment. And of course, you can always help others to understand proxies better by sharing knowledge. And I mean my video. All right, till the next one, stay fine and stay tuned.